do this. Let me just bring us right up to full screen. So I want to thank uh, another mother runner um, for being a co-host and Nature's Gem CBD. And we also um, have another Facebook group called The Runner's Guide, which is at The Runner's Guide 1. So um, one of the things that I wanted to do today is because I know we're all runners and I thought, did we mention last time, what would I do for a workout before the run? So that's what we're gonna work on today. When I thought about this, I thought, well, what do I wanna do? I wanna get my heart rate up a little bit. I want to open my hips. I wanna open my chest. I wanna loosen my lower back and I wanna engage the core. And then I'm gonna be ready to go out and do my run. So this is gonna be a quick 30 minute Here's everything that I would do before I go for a run so that when you're running, you're all engaged, you're warm up and you're ready to hit the road. So with that, one of the few things that a quick one that sometimes I cue on are called buttons. So buttons really quick. Buttons are areas in the core that I will say, whoo, really bring button two in or lower down to button three. Button one is right at the breastbone. Button two is in between the breastbone and the belly button. Button three is your belly button. Button four is between your belly button and pubic bone. And button five is gonna be that pubic bone. So with that, let's get started. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna lie down on the mat. I'm gonna just bring my, uh, my knees are bent. My feet are hip width apart. And I'm just gonna take a nice deep breath in. And I'm gonna exhale it all the way out, lowering my spine, everything into the mat, relaxing my shoulders, opening it up. And when you're exhaling it out, think that you've got that little bit of air left in there, just keep blowing it out. So another nice deep breath in. Exhaling all the way out. Now I want you to put your hands on, like your palm of your hands right on the base of your thighs. And this time when we take a nice deep breath in, when I exhale, I'm gently gonna press my palms into my thighs. And you should be feeling a really nice stretch in your lower back as you exhale out. When you take that deep breath in, you're gonna lower those, release that pressure slowly on your thighs. And then when you exhale, press again onto those thighs, exhaling all the air out. Inhale, releasing that pressure nice and slow. Exhale. Pressing onto the thighs. Inhale, release. Now bring your hands down to the sides of the mat and exhale. And now we're gonna get ready for the 100. The purpose of the 100 is to get the heart rate going. So I want you to bring your legs into tabletop. We're gonna lift our head. We're gonna curl our nose along the ceiling. I'm looking right between my thighs. I've got my arms now extended out. And now I'm gonna begin pumping my arms. So I'm gonna inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. I've got button three, four, five, all engaged. Everything's pressed nice and low. If you wanna add a challenge to it, go ahead and extend the legs out. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. If it's too challenging to hold your head up, that's okay. You can do it with your head down and you can even bring it back in the tabletop. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. We've got two more to do. Two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Bend the knees, lower the head, lower the feet. Now we're gonna get ready for the roll up. Roll up you can do two ways, depending on how strong your core is. You can either take the roll up with your knees bent, I want your uh, feet and, and knees together if you can. Go ahead and put your hands underneath your thighs. I'm gonna lift and curl my head and I'm gonna slowly walk up. And then I'm gonna slowly walk down. When I'm walking down, I'm going really slow. I've got button five, button four, button three, button two, button one, 
all the way down. If you want to add that challenge, extend the legs out. My feet are flexed. My hands are going to go up to the ceiling. I'm going to gently bring my hands back, keeping them nice and plugged into my shoulders so I don't want my shoulders up. And I'm going to, as I bring my hand and heads, everything rolls up. I slide my hands along a tabletop. I'm looking at my knees. My shoulders are down my back. And now I'm going to slowly roll down. And the whole key is to keep that pelvis nice and engaged all the way down, one vertebrae at a time. Arms go back and we curl up. Again, making sure that everything is nice and tight. Arms are really relaxed down our back. When your arms go back, we don't want to pop the ribs so everything stays nice and engaged. The hardest part of this exercise is button one, two, and three. And we've got two more. Nice and sliding our hands along the tabletop. My feet are flexed back. Hands are going back. And we go up. And this time I want you to stay up. I'm going to turn and face you guys. I want you to cross your legs. And this is called shave the head. And this is all about opening up our chest muscles. My hands are going to come behind my head. I'm gently going to just tilt a little forward from my waist. And I'm going to bring my arms up and then I'm going to bring them back down to my neck. I'm looking down at the floor and we're going to do five of these. So inhale goes up, exhale brings them down. Inhale goes up, exhale brings them down. My elbows are reaching nice and wide. And let's do one more. And exhale. Now I want you to uncross and cross your legs the other way and bring your arms like this is called hug a tree. So again, it's opening that chest muscle. I'm opening here. I'm engaged into my lats. And now I'm going to bring my arms forward. I'm going to touch my fingertips. And then it's my back muscle is opening up my chest. And hug that tree and open up the chest. Hug the tree, open up the chest. I'm nice and tall into my torso. My shoulders are down the back. Inhale, exhale. Let's do one more. Inhale, exhale. Now I want you to come up onto your knees. Whoops, hopefully I'm not cut off. I think I am, hold on. So I've got my hands down by my sides. I'm nice and long into my torso. All I'm going to do is I'm going to press my hands back like I'm pressing against a wall. I'm going to look to my left. I'm going to look to my right. And then I'm going to bring my head center and my hands come back to my, my sides. Nice deep breath in. As you press back, think about growing tall in your head. So our torso gets longer. And now look to your right. Look to your left. Hands come back to the side. So my torso grows long as I press back. I'm going to look to my left. I'm going to look to my right. Arms come to the side. Deep breath in. Pressing back, last one. I'm going to look to my right. I'm going to look to my left. Arms come back. I'm going to sit back down onto the mat. And we're going to do single leg stretch. The whole purpose of this is to get our core engaged, but I really want to focus on stretching long through the hips. So I'm going to take my right hand and put it on my right ankle. My left hand goes right underneath my knee. My left leg is extended, and I'm gonna gently curl back just to where my shoulder blades, tip of my shoulder blades are off the mat. And I'm reaching nice and long through here. 
I've got my right leg in my chest. I'm gonna pull in a couple times, pull, pull, and then I'm gonna switch. And again, I really wanna reach long out of this the, uh, right leg. So we pull, pull, switch. 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 One more each side. Bring your knees into the chest. Just lower your head for a moment. Look to the left. Look to the right. We're loosening up that lower back right now. Now I'm gonna curl right back up to where my shoulder blades are. If this hurts your neck, you can do this exercise uh, with your head down. Now I'm gonna lift my legs and I'm gonna lift my arm to the ceiling. I'm gonna reach out nice and wide with my arms as I exhale and bring my knees back into my chest. Inhale takes us up, circling the arms, exhale brings the knees in. Inhale, we go up, exhale brings it in. Really reach up nice and tall to the ceiling, exhale brings us in. Inhale up, exhale brings us in. One more, inhale up, exhale brings us in. Just lower the head and look to your left, look to your right, loosening up that back again. And now we're gonna curl back up. I'm gonna extend my left leg out. My right leg is gonna go to the ceiling for scissors. So I'm gonna pull my leg gently into my chest as far as I can go and then I'm gonna switch. And switch. So again, the whole purpose is to really reach long out of the leg that's down. Let's get out of those hips, especially before we run. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Two more each side. Last one. Bend the knees, bring them into the chest, lower the head. Look to the right, look to the left. Now we're gonna go um, our lower and left. So the legs go up to the ceiling. I'm gonna curl my head off the mat again. My arms are gonna to go to my, um, support my head in the back. And then I'm just gonna lower my legs a little bit and I'm gonna scoop my belly to bring them back to the ceiling. So lower, 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 lift. Lower, 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 lift. It's really button four, three, four, and five that's doing that lift, it's not my back. And one more, lower, 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 lift. Bend your knees, lower the head, hug your knees into your chest, loosening up that back from side to side. Last one in this series. I'm gonna lift my head, my hands go back, my elbows are wide. I'm gonna extend out my left leg, and all I'm gonna do is lift my shoulder off the mat and twist over towards the other, the knee that's bent. And then I'm gonna switch. So it's not a crunch. I want the elbows nice and wide. So it's really focusing on the twist of the core, not necessarily how high can I get off the mat. So we're gonna do two more each side. Last one. Bend the knees, bring them into the chest. Look to your right, look to your left. Legs go onto the ground and we're gonna sit up. For spine stretch forward, I'm gonna bring my feet the width of the mat. I'm sitting up nice and tall. I'm gonna pitch up off my sit bones and my elbow, my hands are extended out. And I'm gently gonna curl my head down and I'm gonna take a deep breath in. And as I exhale, I'm gonna slide my hands along the top of the table. Taking a nice deep breath in, we stack our vertebrae one at a time till we're back sitting up nice and tall. This is about getting out of the lower back. And inhale, sit up nice and tall, curling the chin and exhale. Inhale brings us up. 
Our shoulders are nice and relaxed down our back. Inhale, nice and tall. I'm gonna curl my head and I'm gonna exhale and run my hands along the table. And then I'm gonna sit up nice and tall. We don't wanna collapse when we're going forward. So we're gonna inhale, lifting up nice and tall. Shoulders are down the back. I'm gonna curl my head and I'm gonna exhale, 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 exhale. You're probably feeling a nice stretch in your hamstrings and your lower back. Inhale brings me up. Take another deep breath in, lifting up nice and tall. The head gets tucked. And sit back up. And this is our last one on this set. Inhale, nice and tall. Chin goes down. Should be reaching a little bit farther each time. And now we're gonna sit back up. We're gonna go on to the leg series. So I want to lie on the side. I'm gonna lie on my left side. I've got my legs extended out. If you're tight in the hips, and sometimes I'm tight in the morning, one thing I'll do is I'll just kind of take my hand, I'll put it on the top of my hip and just really push it down. Sometimes as women, you know, our, our hips get up into our ribs. So we really want to loosen that up. I'm going to put my hand onto the mat and I'm going to bring my legs out roughly about, you know, 20, 25 degrees. I'm going to anchor my lower leg. My upper leg just comes to hip level. Really, we wanna focus on getting out of the hips as we do these exercises. So I'm gonna bring my leg forward, and then I slowly draw a line with your big, or with your toe as you bring it back, focusing really on getting out of that hip. And come forward, kick, bring it back nice and slow. If you need to, go ahead and change the position of that bottom leg, because that's really the leg that's helping you stay anchored and not wobble back and forth. So we kick forward, draw it nice and slow back. Kick forward and draw it back. Last one for this set, kicking forward. I've still got everything nice and tight and lower the leg. I want you to rotate the top leg so that the femur bone is facing the ceiling. And we're gonna lift that leg up, flex that foot, draw, like you're really drawing a big line with that heel all the way down. You should be really feeling that pull coming from your hip. And point brings me up, flex, lower it back down. Point brings me up, flex, lower back down. And raise up, flex, lower back down. Two more, point up, flex, lower back down. Last one, point up, flex, lower back down. The foot comes just a little bit off the lower foot and we're gonna draw little circles like you're drilling a hole uh, with your toe into the wall in front of you. And again, you should be feeling it in here, maybe in your glutes a little bit more, We're trying to stay out of the thigh. And reverse. My button four is really working, button five is really working. That's engaging. My movement is starting to come from in here, so I don't wanna be really working on the thigh, I wanna focus on getting my core and my lower buttons to be making that movement and lower the leg. Bringing your legs back. I'm gonna kick up my up leg. I'm gonna flex it and I'm gonna bend it and I'm gonna bring my right hand around to my ankle. So this is, my, this is anchoring me. I don't wanna be wobbling back and forth. We wanna stay nice and centered. Our shoulders are relaxed. And we're gonna lift the lower leg and bring it down. So we lift and bring it down. Lift, bring it down. The lift should be coming from your button four and five, the lower abdominal, and bring it down. Lift and lower 
lift, hold it, and now we're gonna do some circles. So I'm circling my foot forward. Again, I really wanna feel it in my lower abdominal muscles. Last one this way, hold and reverse that circle. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. I'm gonna lower my leg and now I'm gonna turn on to the other side. So I'm just gonna go to this side. So I'm nice and in alignment. My legs are gonna go. My hand is anchoring, my lower leg is, uh, my foot is flexed and anchoring as well. And I'm gonna lift my top leg and I'm gonna kick it forward and then I'm gonna bring it back. So I'm gonna bring it forward and bring it back. Really focusing again, I wanna get out of that hip and bring it back. It's my abdominal muscles here that are really making this movement nice and fluid. Got two more. Exhale, inhale, exhale. Hold it just in the back. Give a nice stretch back there. Really reach that toe to the opposite wall and lower the foot on top. I'm gonna rotate my femur bone to face the ceiling. So my thigh is facing the ceiling. I'm gonna point my toe and I'm gonna to kick it up, flexing my foot, drawing a big line, getting out of that hip down. Point brings us up and flex and come down. Point comes up, flex and come down. Bring it up, flex and come down. Flex, drawing that line, last one, bring it up, flex, lower it back down. My foot comes just a little bit off my lower foot and I'm gonna draw some circles forward. Again, it's like I'm drawing a, a hole in the wall with my big toe and the movement is coming from in here. My button four, three, four, and five. Two more this way, one, two, hold it and reverse that circle. Drawing that belly button in, keeping it nice and tight. I'm really reaching my leg long. I'm not letting it, it get anywhere up towards my hip. And lower the leg. Kicking the leg up, bend it, bring it forward and bring the standing leg to the back. I've got that leg, my foot is flexed. I'm anchored this way. I'm making sure that I'm not rolling back and forth. I'm still nice and in alignment. My shoulder is relaxed. I don't want it up by the ear. And I'm gonna lift that leg and I'm gonna lower. Lift, lower. Again, the lift is coming from button four and five. And lower, lift, lower, lift. Lower, lift and hold and through circles. So we're gonna circle forward. Three, four, five, six, seven. Hold it and reverse that circle. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Lower the leg, lower the leg onto the top and then we're gonna sit up. The last one I want to finish with is mermaid. I think we all have very tight hips. You'll hear me say this one over and over. This is my favorite exercise. I've got my uh, left leg perpendicular in front here. I've got my uh, right leg bent back. And the whole goal is to get our hips to sit and open up, make sure that they're square. And you know, if you're super tight and you're like this, that's okay. The more that you sit like this, the more that your hips will open up and you'll be able to, how I actually do is I feel and see how far my butt is off the ground. So that's a little trick, probably way too much info. Anyway, I've got my uh, hand here on my ankle. My opposite hand goes up. So this is my left hand reaches nice and tall. You wanna make sure that your shoulders are down your back and you're gonna reach over to the right 
nice bend and come to center. Lifting up out of our torso, I'm gonna bend over and come to center. One more, I'm gonna reach, bend over. This time I'm gonna, when I come to center, I'm gonna come to a T and I'm gonna reach over to the other side, getting a nice stretch in my right side, using my obliques to bring me up. Hand goes to the ankle, other hand comes up. Good, everybody looks great. We're leaning, we come to the T, we give a nice stretch, and we've got one more. Reaching up nice and tall, leaning over. Coming to the T, over to the other side. Really, I'm reaching long with this hand. Come to the center and switch sides. This is my super, super tight side. So we all have a tight side. And so the more that you're, I actually will sit like this when I'm watching TV, anything like that. The more I sit like this, the more that I can feel my butt cheek get closer down to the mat. So I've got my left hand on my ankle. My other hand comes up nice and tall. My shoulders are relaxed down the mat. And I'm gonna lift and reach over to my left side and come to center. Lifting up tall out of my ribs. I'm gonna reach over. Woo, I'm tight. And we're gonna reach over. This time we're gonna come to the T. I'm gonna reach over to the other side, giving a nice stretch, really reaching long with this hand. Our obliques bring us back to center. My hand goes to my ankle, other hand goes up, and I'm gonna lean. And we come to the T, give a nice stretch. Last one, we come, we switch, we go over, come to the T. Nice stretch, come back to center. And all I wanna do now is I'm just gonna take my legs out in front of me and I'm just gonna gently walk my hands down and just relax my neck. Loosening up my lower back. If you need to bend your knees, that's okay. This is all about still engaging in the core. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Last one, I've got my feet flexed. Deep breath in, deep breath out. And now you are ready to go for your run. Everything is nice and loosened up. So if you guys have any questions, um, you can always reach out to me. We are running, uh, if you guys wanna, if you get a little sore from your run, I use uh, you know, our balm and stuff like that. You'll hear uh, Sarah and Dimity talk about that too. We are offering a coupon to anybody watching this, which is Pilates 10 at Nature's Gem CBD. Um, one of the funniest thing that I will leave with here is, um, I don't know if you listen to the podcast about running in the rain. So I'm down in Florida and it's been beautiful and sunny. I listen to this podcast and no lie for like the past four days, it has rained down here. I was like, Ooh, they black hatted my sunny, nice warm weather. So there you go. I, I really appreciate all the input though. I didn't know about running in wool socks and they, you know, I think the funniest part was when Sarah talked about, um, whipping off the bra that's all wet and, you know, trying to get that over your head. So that cracked me up. So <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Lisa, that was really nice. Thank you. I feel taller. I think our hips feel have just have some more space. And um, I think it's a great idea to do this before we run. And we'll see you next Wednesday, okay? And I'll, and I'll send that um, code out to everybody when I, I'll put in the um, YouTube video. And then when I post it around um, on Facebook, I'll also share it there. So, All right. Enjoy your day. Have a great day, you guys. Bye.